Hey y'all, it's your guy. I'm Lachey. We back with another video. So today I am going to do a pink and purple wig install for you guys. Yeah. So I'm going to be installing this wig for you guys. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we're going to get right into this video. Period. <laughs> First, um, oh shit, I'm dropping stuff. You can get you some blonde wig caps. Um, so I'm gonna take a little bit of oil and I'm gonna rub it on my edges because just a little bit because you want your wig to stay. But this is something that I personally do. I don't do it exactly on the hairline because I'm gluing the wig like right here. But I want to protect my edges and make sure they are, you know, got some type of moisture on them. You also will need some alcohol. Just make sure those hairs are, you know, moisturized because you don't want to lose your edges while we got this wig. And you're gonna take the blow dryer and put your edges back. Just a little bit because I really don't even like using this stuff. And you're gonna push it into your wig cap as, as well as your skin. A, like put it where you want the wig cap to be and put it a little bit further and that should be good because you're going to go in with the got to be glue sprayer as well okay so you're going to take your got to be glue spray and you're going to spray i like to spray a little bit i don't like to spray back here no more because i was i was seeing that when i was um gluing my well taking my wig caps off my hair was coming out right here because of the wig cap and trying to take it off so i'm going to spray up here on the line and this is a closure wig so um you really don't have to go all the way over i just keep this minimum space right here and i do three sprays and that's all you need okay y'all yeah, so I'm going to take the RK Miss Kiss Mineral Powder, and this color is the RMP10 Golden Honey. I'm going to take that along with a old makeup brush. Um, I would just use the, um, the cap. Uh, the stuff that I use on my cap, which is the light brown. This is the stuff that I use on my cap. I only use one layer because if you keep layering, layering it on, it will make it darker. So I'm going to use this, like, this part, I'm guessing. I don't know. Let me, let me see. Let me see because... Okay, we might be using it. I mean, no, because it, I don't know. Because I don't want this white line to be showing. So, I'm going to use this. You spray it far away. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to dry it with my blow dryer. Spray one layer, but make sure it's even all over. So that's good. You don't need no more. If you're my skin complexion, you don't need any more. Let that sit. We're gonna cut the wig cap off. Okay. 
And a lot of problems that I see when I look at females' videos is they don't let their wig cap dry. Like, let your wig cap dry. Like, the better your wig cap is, the better your install will be. You know, like, just let it dry. Like, don't be in a rush. And I can understand some girl. Like, sometimes I don't glue my wig cap down and I still have a good install. Like, your wig cap should be good. It should be staying down. So, I'm going to take a little bit more off. Because I don't want it all the way up in my forehead like that. And make sure you cut your wig cap crookedly. I forgot about that. Cut it crooked. I find that when you cut your wig cap crookedly, that it you can't see it. Like, it, it looks better. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to take my first layer. And start that here. Make sure you're pressing that wig cap down so you can put that little bit of those edges of the wig cap to glue down to it as well. So it won't be, you know, coming up. I'm gonna let that first layer dry and I'm gonna take my hot comb and I'm gonna turn my hot comb on. Last layer. And y'all, literally, I'm nowhere near my edges. Like, my edges are back here. Make sure that is, like, very evenly distributed and rubbed in. I'm gonna put the top back on the wig glue and I'm gonna take my alcohol pad once again. Like as y'all watch my videos, y'all gonna know I use that alcohol pad. I need that alcohol, baby. I don't play about that skin. My, my face already be breaking out. I don't have time. I'm just wiping the excess glue off my forehead, y'all. My glue is sticky as hell. Y'all, and another glue that I like to use is Boho, but I didn't have time to um, go buy that. So I just have my ghost on. But I love Boho. Boho is really strong, though. Like, it's really strong. Okay, so get ready to position your wig on your head because when this glue turns completely clear, we're going to lay this wig into that glue. Make sure it's evenly on your head. You want it to be evenly on your head. Evenly. Meaning like, you know, even. So... I need to take my put my light back on because I can't see. All right. So mine's as clear as I want it to be. So I'm gonna get ready to put the glue, put the hair like down into the glue. So here we go. I want you to go down a little bit further. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to cut this piece off, the closure tab piece that's always on the end. I'm going to cut that off on both sides. 
But before I take the blow dryer, I'm gonna smooth those edges back one more time. Okay, so y'all, yeah, I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna push it into my skin a little bit and I'm gonna show y'all how to do this band, put this band on. So y'all, yeah, I'm about to put, I glue the wig down. I'm about to take my alcohol again. And I'm gonna wipe my edge line off before I put the thing down. Just in case you have any excess glue anywhere on your forehead. I'm going to take, well, I'm going to put the edges out first that we're going to use for baby hairs. And then, come stick this in. I'm going to take this. So yeah, go ahead y'all and start defining your part. I know I made my lace a little bit pink and purple, but we can fix that with concealer. So don't worry about that. So yeah, I'm gonna cut this excess lace off right here. So the edges, I mean, the, the part is not really that defined. Where did I put my thing at? Did it just fall? I don't know where that went at, but oh, here it is. So yeah, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna start laying my edges out and I'm gonna also cut this off. If you need to do some excess plucking, do that after you do the, um. you put this band on. Start the plucking part after. You don't even need a lot of edges at all. So make sure the edges is evenly distributed like on both sides. I might have to do a little bit more plucking. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to take the band. Oh, if I could find it. Oh, here it is. And right where you laid those edges out, just put the band. And sometimes this makes people head hurt, so don't tie it very tightly. Like, it'll still lay down if it's not that tight because it's a band. Like, you're stretching it around your whole head. It doesn't have to be extremely tight. I mean, the tighter, the better, but it's okay. Yeah, I'm taking this off. 
So it's like, so it's like really, 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 really melted into my skin. So I got my Eco Gel. I got my mousse. I got my scissors, and I got this baby brush thingy, whatever you want to call it. So I'm gonna just brush the regular hairs out of the way. We're about to start doing edges. Let me cut this tab off. So y'all, I'm about to start styling my hair. I didn't define my part yet with the concealer, but I'm about to start um, hot combing and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna take some heat protectant. Start with the end. Take my hot comb. Mine's is on 450 or something like that. Don't be careful, y'all. This shit is hot. I'm telling y'all be careful, like y'all can feel it. But if you got yours on 450, be careful. Ooh, that shit hot. I'm really starting to love the the curls with the hot comb. I mean, damn, I'm slow, y'all. I'm really starting to love the curls with the freaking flat iron more than I like the the one curler. That one didn't come out. It's okay. We gon' always be together, baby. That's what you told me, and I believed it. Cause I ain't never had nobody do me like you. That's a little better. Oh yeah, this is the side that I struggle with because I don't do not left hand do it. I mean, I can't do it with my right hand. If that makes sense. Y'all get what I'm saying though. So y'all, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this pink purple wig in store. Um, y'all couldn't get my curls to come out exactly how I wanted them because I can't curl. I can only curl on one side. I can't curl on one side. But it's still cute. Still love it. I still love the color, whatever. I wish the curls would have came out perfectly. But... Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me what other videos you want to see down below.